welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. I am the Clumsy Stitcher here on YouTube and over on Instagram. For those of you who are new here, a very warm welcome to you. I use this channel to speak all about cross stitch and show you updates on projects and talk about plans and new starts and all that jazz. If you are returning, thank you very much for coming back to spend some time with me. I'm sorry it's been so long since my last video again. Um, this time I had my last three exams uh, for my accountancy qualification that I'm currently doing. Um, I think I mentioned this in my last video. Um, so those were the first week in November, so last week. Um, and as you can expect, October was pretty fraught with um, quite long revision days and um, not very much free time. Um, saying that, I do have a fair amount to show you this time around still. Um, I've got a couple of whips, a new start, and um, I've got some Stitchy Kindness as well from Maloka Designs, who is a design company here in the UK. So I'll show you that at the very end, because I've also got a discount code for you to use, uh, if you so wish. I think, though, somewhat unconventionally, I'm actually going to start with haul this video. I haven't really bought very much in the last six weeks. However, what I have bought, I want to be able to put back into my project bags as I'm going through all my stuff. Last video, I showed you my avatar project, which is um, Cirque de Carole by Ink Circles. And it's the one where basically I'm using the color scheme of each of the bending styles within the animated TV show, Avatar, The Last Airbender. And I had seen previously on Instagram a company called Nerdy Needle Design Co, which I will link uh, in the show notes below, um, because I'd seen that they did a full set of Avatar needle minders. And I saw it and I went to have a look on Etsy and I was like, mm, mm, can I stretch it, can I stretch to it? And then on the video um, as well, someone, I think her name was Amy Graham, commented saying, oh, they do a really good set of needle minders. And so I went and I had another look and I was just, I was 100% convinced. And so I went onto their Etsy shop and basically just went a bit nuts for needle minders. Um, because it was shipping from America, I thought I really better justify the delivery cost. And so I <laughs> just went a little bit crazy. So we'll start with the... Uh, and they're all themed to the projects I'm currently working on as well. So I'll start with this one, which is the heart from the Zelda games, um, which obviously goes with my Zelda project, which I'll show you in a second. So I absolutely love this. They're really, really strong as well. They're really, really good quality. And they're so, so they're all wooden. So they're really thick. Yeah, just really, really good. Um, the next one is... Lord of the Rings theme for my Lord of the Rings project. And this is the leaves that do up the hobbit's cloaks that they get from Lothlorien. So again, very, very pretty. And then I got the set for, the, I decided to get the, so I think one of the reasons why I was umming and ahhing about the full avatar set of needle minders was because there are five in total. And once I finished my avatar projects, I was a bit like, well, what will I do with them? But because I just think they're really good quality, I think they're really well made. The designs are really accurate. They're spot on with the elements in the series. I think what I will do is when I get all of my pieces framed, I will just super glue the relevant needle minder onto the like, one of the corners of the frame. And so when they're all four of them are like up on the wall, all the needle minders will be in the middle with the symbol. And as soon as I had that idea, I was like, yes, I'm absolutely getting all these needle minders. So this is the one, this is earthbending. Um, sorry for those of you who don't watch Avatar, I don't think this is going to be very interesting. Uh, but this is the earthbending symbol. So this is for the project I'm currently working on. This is the firebending. Airbending and water. And then the last one is one that I can just keep to have as a normal need minder. Um, and it's the white lotus tile. Because you've got to have an Uncle Iroh reference in there for those of you who know what I'm talking about. 
There you go. So yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with all of those. I'm so happy I ended up getting them. Oh, sorry if it was clicky. I'm just trying to pick them all up. Um, yeah, really, really happy. And I really like, I can't wait to, I just really want to finish these projects so I can have them all like with the needle minders in the frame. But obviously that will take me years. So we will see, see how long it takes for me to get there. But that was it for haul. I really didn't, I, I, cause, because I wasn't stitching so much, I wasn't really thinking about um, like future projects or um, getting, I wasn't getting distracted basically in browsing Etsy or um, any of the other shops I commonly visit. Um, so now I will move on to my works in progress or whips, as we like to call them. My first project is one I haven't pulled out in a long, long time. And I haven't got loads of progress on it, but simply because I haven't shown you in a while, I figured I would just um, bring it out again, just to kind of remind myself as well as, <laughs> as, well as you guys that I am actually working on this project. Um, so this is a design from Terra Stitch on Etsy. It doesn't really have a title. It's just one of their like boho patterns. Um, so I'll pop a quick picture here of what the pattern will look like when it's done. And then I will put a quick photo of where I was last time. Um, and then this is where I am now. Sorry, I'm really not sure what the light's gonna be like today because it's uh, it's already like 20 past three and um, the it's getting dark quite early here at the moment. So hopefully it will all be okay. Um, so yeah, all I've really done is this bit here, which I, it's more stitches than there than I realized, I think. Um, but I'm stitching this on 40 count antique white um, Zweigart Newcastle linen. Um, this needle minder is from Just So Heavenly on Etsy. I'm not really sure why I picked this one up again, if I'm honest. I think I was really in a bit of a finishing mood and this one is probably the closest to a finish of all the projects I've got at the moment. So, um, I thought it would just be good to get another finish before the year ended, but I don't know if that's going to be possible because now I'm back to my, basically the beginning of the month I was in a finishing mood, by the end of the month it was all out the window. But that is my little bit of progress on this one. I do think it will look really, really good when it's finished, and so I know I should just, uh, should just get it done. The next project I have to show you will be my Lord of the Rings one. Uh, it's called Visit the Shire, and again I'll show you a picture of what it will look like when it's finished and then where it was last time where I was finishing I was filling in all the dark blue so that I could kind of mindlessly stitch the light blue and this is a project that so when I was studying I was doing um, like the Pomodoro technique where you work where I was so I was working for 50 minutes and then was taking 10 minute breaks and so this was ready on my stand so that as soon as I started my 10 minute break, I would just kind of go and sit on the sofa, stitch solidly for 10 minutes and then kind of come back. So I've been able to get a fair amount done on this one, I think. So yeah, I've just been basically just filling in all the way across. I was a, I have, I did make a mistake though. So obviously I left it on my stand for quite a while because it was the project I was working on when I was studying and I hadn't really thought about how much I tightened my hoop. And so where this hoop line goes, that's a line of very flat stitches, which I'm a bit frustrated about. Um, but I am hoping that when I wash, because they have started to fluff up again now that I've taken it out of the hoop. So I'm hoping that when I wash it, they'll fluff up, fluff up even more. Um, but yeah, that's the full. So this is good mindless stitching, if I'm honest. Um, and you can just get, you can get quite a lot done quite quickly. So I've just had a quick look at Pattern Keeper. Um, because I, yeah, so I'm using Pattern Keeper for this one, as I do with the majority of my charts. And I've got 2,504 stitches in this one out of a total of 22,528 which puts me at 11.12%, which I don't think is too bad actually, considering the percentage points of a lot of my other ones. Because <laughs> um, I guess the total fabric's so like that size. So yeah, 10% is a win. <laughs> yeah, it's good to get that one out again. I think um, 
it's a good kind of car project because um you just don't you only have to get one color out and then it's just endless and you don't have to have your i don't have to have pattern keeper out for example um so obviously this is the one i'm doing with my lord of rings needle minder Ooh, the sun is now reflecting off the building opposite so, so i've had to pull the curtain too and now i hope it's not too dark um but we will we will muddle on through the next project i have to show you is the one i started on my honeymoon um it's the one with link and zelda together so i'll show you a quick picture of what it will look like when it's done and where it was last time and i think if i'm remembering it was just zelda's disembodied head with link but now we have full link and full zelda and even some color going in there as well the fabric is not showing up quite right again um it's a paler fabric with a bit more kind of teal going through it turquoise rather than um it looks very blue but it isn't quite this blue um I'm trying to get the fabric to show up properly on my Instagram pictures. So that's probably a better place to go um, if you want to see like the true colour. Um, it's called Glacier and it's by Chromatic Alchemy. And I think it is absolutely fabulous. Um, I've got it in a 32 count linen. So yes, yeah, so I've just started filling in um, at the top here, um, Zelda's crown and her hair so it's like I, I did like the impact of the um kind of just the line drawing but um i think the colors against the fabric are really striking so i am excited to get them in there actually speaking of this fabric just yesterday autumn lane stitchery released a snowman pattern uh, with like let it snow across it and I think this, this would just be perfect for that. So I'm um, thinking I'm just going to add that to my basket and maybe I'll have that in time for Christmas as well. So that's how we are with that one. I was hoping to get that done this year, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'll get it done for the anniversary. There we go. That'll be fine. <laughs> and then the next project will obviously be my avatar project, um, seeing as I am completely in love with it. Uh, so this was a new start last time, so I will put up a picture of what it would look like when it's going to be finished and how my start last time, and I think it was just the top zigzag. And so I did work on this a fair amount um, because once I started stitching on it, I didn't want to stop at all. And so this is how far I've got. Da -da -da -da. I just absolutely love it. I am so happy with this. Just how variegated that floss is is fantastic. Uh, to be fair, so this is my first time stitching with a variegated floss, and I think going for one with such extreme colour changes has been a bit of a trial by fire because there are definitely certain areas where I'm not happy with like the matching. But at the end of the day, I had to. It's when you have to take a step back and remember that you're going to be looking at it up on the wall, and so the overall effect is fantastic. It's not about like the individual crisscrosses where they don't match kind of thing um so I've just yeah so I've been going so I started doing this bit because what I want to do is kind of go down the center sorry my loose thread I've caught my hand um go down the center line um so I started doing the outline for all the boxes um and then coming down and I'm going to duplicate it on this side and then fill all of these in as I'm going down and then I'll start going from side to side I'm stitching this on a 40 count cream linen from Zweigart. It's another Newcastle. And a sulky thread. So they are a bit thicker than DMC. And so I'm stitching one over two. And um, I just love the coverage. It's so thick. I just think it, yeah, I just think it really, really works. If I zoom in a bit, sorry if that's not focusing. So it keeps trying to change the exposure. Um, so yeah, really, really enjoying that one. And thank you so much for all of your lovely comments on my last video as well. There was so many of you that were so supportive of my colour choices and the theme I was going for. And it turns out lots of us are um, Avatar fans. And so that it was just really, really lovely. Um, 
knowing that I kind of reached people in that way. Um, so thank you so much for, yeah, for everything. It was really, really lovely. And then, oh, actually, very quickly, sorry. So again, this is what I'm stitching on Pattern Keeper. And I have done 920 stitches out of 16,596, which totals 5.54%. So I've already hit 5% on that one. So again, I'm quite pleased with, the, with how I'm getting on. And then I don't know if I want to show you my final work in progress or a new start first, because my final work in progress is one I'm quite pleased with. Um, I think I'm going to start, I'm going to go new start and then back to work in progress. Um, so yes, I had a new start because it turns out when I, whenever I'm stressed, uh, the best thing to do is start a new cross stitch project. Um, and so I showed this as haul in my last video, I think. It's the tequila pattern by Stitch Rovia. And I'll show a picture of what it will look like when it's done. Um, and as you can see in the pictures, all of the colors are really bright and really vibrant. And so I thought that they would look really good on um, on black fabric. And so I decided to just take the plunge and I got an 18 count black Ada. And this is my progress so far. Woo. So the reason I've started twice is because I started two over one and then decided that it wasn't thick enough. It wasn't like I didn't like the coverage enough and so I've decided to go for three over one on 18 count which is proving to be quite tricky but I am loving the results I just think it's so bright and I just didn't want any kind of hint at darkness behind the thread and so I think it stands I don't I mean when I'm holding it up to the camera now you can't really can you make it I don't know if you can even tell the difference but <laughs> But to me, to me at the time, it seemed really important. It seemed quite significant. So um, I'm just sticking with it. So I've recently shared this on my Instagram and someone has made the comment and I didn't realise this before because I'm thinking of the phrase in its entirety when I'm thinking about the pattern. But actually, when you kind of see this phrase by itself, it's not very motivational, um, not a very motivational moment. So I apologise uh, for if it's a bit improper. Um, I will try and make some more progress on it so that it's uh, not quite so horrendous next time. But that's where we are with that one. So yes, I'm, I, although I don't know if I'll take this one out again this year, but we'll talk about plans a bit later on. Um, and then, so my final work in progress, um, it is my beloved dragon, which I think I might have shared last time as well um, because I have been working a little bit on this one as well I finally reached a point where there wasn't um a hundred different colors in a 10 by 10 block and so I uh, uh got the wind at me a bit and uh, got me motivated to keep stitching on it so this will be what it will look like at the end and then I will put up a picture of where I was last time I showed you and I'm very happy to say that I've actually reached 25% of this pattern, which I'm thrilled about. And so to celebrate that, I've decided to take it off the scroll frame so that um, you can see it in its like current like state in its entirety, because at the moment a third of it's like cut off. So this is where I am currently. Ta -da! So I've managed to get all of the inside of the wing done at the top. So I am really, really pleased I'm just I uh, so I'm still so proud of this piece and I'm so excited to make be making progress on it as well so um I would point but I don't know how I'm going to be able to let go of anything so I, yeah last time so I've worked I've mainly focused on the inside of the wing I have done a little bit more confetti up at the top, but I've decided, so when I first started, I started doing parking, doing 10 by 10 blocks on, um, instead of doing column by column, I did kind of one block and then went down and to the left. So it was like a diagonal 10 by 10. 
but I've been watching quite a few videos and seeing quite a few photos where people do actual like diagonal parking where they move like actually kind of like on the diagonal and so it's going to be I know it will be a bit difficult but I really want to give it a try which is why I've you can see I've got some threads hanging there um because I think I was I had left some like li like when there's only one stitch there was a little cluster where I just left them because I couldn't be bothered to just stitch five single stitches and so I want to try and avoid that at all costs because I can't risk leaving a stitch out on this piece <laughs> but I'm just so so pleased I love absolutely love the colours And that will probably be the last time for a while it comes off the scroll frame because I hate taking pieces on and off the scroll frame. Um, so I have been working on that since February 2019. Um, and I, I don't mention that to kind of be critical of myself that I've only reached 25% in two and a half years. Because um, 2019 was when I found, when I discovered what floss tube was and it's actually because of this piece that I discovered what floss tube was because um, I watched a, a kind of parking tutorial and then YouTube started suggesting all of these videos and I was like, oh my God, what is this? Um, and so 2019 was when I um, started working on lots of projects all at the same time and uh, that one took a big hit. But I uh, I do, I do want, I think, I would like to make it more of a focus piece, I think, just so I can um, get some good progress on it over the next year. But that is all of my projects for the past six weeks. I still, I do think I have done a fair amount, really. Um, and the, it's been, it has been a very good distraction when I've just been feeling quite overwhelmed with my studying. So yes, very, very, very happy to have this hobby. The last thing I have to show you today is a gift that I have very kindly received from Maloka Designs, who is a design company based in the UK. They have sent me their newest design. Uh, they've sent me the full kit and I get to show you everything that's in it. And I've also got a discount code for you um, in case you wanted to get it for yourself. So I'll show you the design first. I am very excited about this, I've got to be honest. Um, I'll show you the design first. This is their Mandala Lion. And so uh, it's Megan who uh, runs the company and comes up with all the designs. Um, she's, this is, I think this is the fifth in her series of Mandala animals. Um, oh, actually, I can show you. So the ones she's done before is the dog, cat, giraffe and elephant and now we've got the lion as well with just the most fantastic colour palette and so in the kit I've got the 14 count ada and needle so I've already searched the edges because I am quite keen to start this project <laughs> and then she provides all of the floss for you as well on a floss card. And this is the my favourite way to receive these I, with it tied around the... Um, oh, I'm not showing you that way, that. With it tied around the edges. I, I, yeah, I just find this way so easy. And then... You get kind of like the list of colours, the chart, and a cross-stitch guide as well, just to kind of give you some help on um, like how to cross stitch and different types of stitches, um, carrying your thread back stitch, even some French knot tutorial in there. So um, yeah, I'm really, really excited to get started on this. Like I said, I have a discount code for you. If you go to the Malocca Designs website, which is spelt like this, but I will also put it in the notes underneath the video. And if you want to purchase the Mandala Lion and Matching Needle Minder, you can get 10% off with the code CLUMSY10, which I will just put across the bottom of the screen. And I'll also put that in the notes as well, just, uh, just so you know for sure. It is 
currently available for pre-order. And so if you place your order now, it will ship at the end of the month. If you are based in the UK, you get free deliveries. If you are based overseas, then it's free international shipping on any orders over £60. Um, and I can show you here some of her other um, designs. If you wanted to check any of them out. I love these feathers. Yes, so go and check out Megan's website. She has some absolutely gorgeous designs. Thank you very much to Megan for gifting me a copy of the Mandala Lion kit and also for offering the discount code to all of you to enjoy as well. That is everything from me for updates. Um, thinking of plans for the next... I'm already thinking towards like the end of the year now. Um, I said a little while, I think back in July, I was working on one of my Christmas projects and I said I would love to get that done this year. I am i don't know if that will be possible, but it's my winter wonderland pattern. And um, I think I really would love to focus on that and get a lot of that done. Um, but I have quite a lot of other Christmas stitch. I want to make a couple of presents this year. I've got my Merry and Bright piece as well by Cottage Garden Samplings, which I don't think I've actually shown you since my first video in February. So it'll be really good to get that back out again. Um, and then I might, I, I wanted to do another Advent animal as well before the end of the year. Never mind all the other stitching I want to do. Um, with updates... Um, December's turning out to be a bit of a tricky month simply because we've got lots of Christmas plans this year because obviously last year was a um, joke in the UK so we've got some friends visiting I want to go down and see my family because we're not spending Christmas with them this year we're spending Christmas with my husband's and so I want to be able to see them beforehand um, and then we've got some like Christmas parties and more friends visiting and so well, um, I'm yeah. I will. I will definitely squeeze uh, kind of November wrap up, December wrap up in there. Um, I did also want to film a kind of whip parade slash year in review slash plans for twenty twenty two video. Um, so I don't know if I'll get it done this side or the other side of Christmas yet. If I'm honest, but I think we will just have to see how uh, how the time goes. The Christmas markets opened in Manchester, uh, which is where I'm living at the moment, uh, yesterday. So I think a trip will need to be had at some point because obviously because they, they couldn't come last year because of COVID. And I have got a mountain of tiny pancakes and Nutella to eat. So we'll um, you'll probably I'll just be there for the next month, probably. <laughs> but until until then, front of front the month. I hope you are all having a happy and healthy November. I hope the weather isn't getting you down too much. I absolutely love this time of year, so I am reveling in the cold and the rain, um, but I know a lot of people do struggle, so I hope you're getting on okay. I will speak to you again, hopefully, in about a month's time. But until then, bye.